for tuning in. I'm going to be showing you how to make the eagerly liked and anticipated pineapple upside down cake. Now this was, uh, I'm doing this recipe because all of you on Facebook uh, liked it so much that, you know, I had to show you it really. Um, and if you're not on my Facebook fan page, why not? Go there, you're missing out on all the action. Um, yes, all the cooking action. Oh yes. First up, I've got my oven, which is preheating at gas mark 4, that's 180 degrees C. And I have a cake tin, which I have lined with some greaseproof paper. Now you can use any a kind of baking tin, square, round, whatever you want. Um, even one of those um, like ceramic dishes you could use if you don't have one of these. Because what you're going to be doing is turning it upside down at the end. Hence the upside down cake. Okay, so get the tin pineapple. It's definitely got more of the kind of retro look going on, so I'm going to use these. Now just lay them into the cake tin. I shall show you in a minute. I've also got some glacier cherries. Ooh, see, I told you it was retro. And one of those is going inside each of the pineapple rings. <laughs> Love it. Cherries are in. Now the next part is some golden syrup. This is what gives it the lovely kind of stickiness uh, when it's baked. I'm going to use three tablespoons and I'm just going to drizzle it on top. So I'm going to go for three tablespoons. Ooh. Quite a bit. So once that first bit's done, just leave it to one side. There we go. Now we're going to make the cake batter, which is a very basic, simple cake mixture sponge mixture. I'm going to use my uh, my mixer, my cake mixer. If you don't have one, don't worry, just do it by hand, the old school way. Nothing wrong with that. Now first up, we're going to beat the butter and sugar together until they're light and fluffy. So I've got 150 grams of soft butter going in and uh, I will put all the other measurements up on my blog. So we'll have the cup measurements as well. Now that's 150 grams of caster sugar. And we're going to beat all those together until light and fluffy. Okay, so that's light and fluffy. You see how it's changed a different colour? It's kind of whiter. So that's what it should look like when it's ready to add the other ingredients. So I've got two large eggs. I'm just going to crack them and then beat them a little bit and then they can go in. Give them a little whisk. Okay, that is done. Add the egg a little bit at a time. Okay, I'm just gonna scrape down the sides as you do. Now what you should do is wait until all the egg has been mixed in before you add the next lot. Okay. Alright, that's nicely beaten. Eggs have been mixed in. All that's left is the flour and milk. And then it's ready to rock. So I've got 150 grams of flour, that's one cup. Uh, self-raising flour, correct. So you don't need to add anything else, just self-raising flour will be fine. Uh, sieve it in. Okay, that gives air and helps it become light and fluffy. That's why you sieve. Now we're going to beat this together with three tablespoons of milk. And then here goes the door. It's done. Mm. I'm going to add my milk in. Voila, it is done. Now that is a good looking batter, okay? This is what you want it to look like. Mmm. Now we get the cake tin with pineapple and syrup in there. And all we do is all that batter. All we do is pour it on top. I told you this recipe was easy, right? Yes, I did. So pour it evenly, as evenly as you can. Okay, 
Now I'll just smooth it down, okay, a little bit. There we go. Now it's ready to go into the oven for about 25 minutes, 25 to 30. There we go. And we're ready. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just going to push it with my finger and when it bounces back, that means it's ready. If it's still wobbly, that means you need to keep it in the oven for a bit longer. Um, and also, if you've noticed, I've used a tray underneath my cake tin. That's only because my cake tin, the bottom comes out, so the golden syrup will leak through a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Um, so, you know, if you've got a tin where the bottom doesn't come out, that would be better for this type of cake. Now all I'm going to do is leave it to cool for about five minutes, no longer, and then we're going to turn it up. So now for the moment of truth, we are turning it upside down. So I'm putting a plate on, on the top, and I'm just going to flip it. Now you make sure you hold on tight, okay, to so this, this bit. You don't want anything to move. Now the cake should drop down. Looking good. Okay, I'm just gonna peel back the greaseproof paper. So just gently peel back the greaseproof paper. Ooh, any of that syrup? Ooh, there we have it, my friends. A pineapple upside down cake. I hope you all really enjoy this as much as I do. Um, thank you very much for watching and remember to stay tuned, plenty more recipes coming up. You can join me on Facebook, full recipe is up on the blog. Uh, and yes, so until next time, cheerio.